In this video, we will be learning how to use a protractor to measure angles. On this screen, you will see a half circle protractor and a full circle protractor. The half circle protractor will be used for measuring obtuse angles, acute angles, and right angles, and the full circle protractor will be used for measuring reflex angles. Here we have an obtuse angle. The first step in using the half circle protractor is to align the center middle of the protractor with the vertex or the dot that connects the two lines of the angle. So here we have aligned the middle of the protractor with the vertex of the two lines in the angle. Now we're going to rotate the protractor until the zero or the bottom line of the protractor is matched with the line on the angle. So we're going to keep moving the zero. Perfect. The zero is lined up along the bottom line of the angle. And the center of our protractor is on the vertex of the angle. We're now going to start at the zero of the bottom line and we're going to count over until we get to the other line of the angle. So as you can see, the line is a little bit past 120 but before 130, so we would say that the measure of this angle is 125 degrees. Here we have another angle. This is an acute angle and it's facing the opposite way of the angle before so we're going to be using a different side of our protractor. First step is again to line the middle or center of our protractor up with the vertex of the angle. In this protractor our bottom line is already lined up with the zero but we can rotate it up or down to get it in the correct place. Now we're starting on the zero again and counting up. For this one, the zero is on the left side of the protractor this time. So starting at the zero, we're going to count up to the other line in the angle. We can see here that that upper line is exactly on the 40, so the measure of this angle is 40 degrees. Sometimes we're going to have an angle where the line is not straight along the bottom and we're going to have to do some rotating of the protractor to measure the angle. So first step, lining up the center of our protractor with the vertex of the angle and now you can see we're going to need to do a little bit of rotating to get that zero on the line. Okay, we have the zero on the line, we have the center of our protractor on the vertex, so again we're going to start at the zero and count over. So 0, 10, 20, 30, all the way over to that other line. You can see it's between 130 and 140 at exactly 135. So the measure of this obtuse angle is 135 degrees. Sometimes we're going to see an angle where the rays of the angle are shortened. So when we line this protractor up on this angle, those lines aren't going to extend for far enough out for us to measure. So something we can do if we have a straight edge is to go ahead and extend those lines out with our ruler or our straight edge to make it easier for us to see what the exact measurement is. So now that we've extended the rays out, let's place our protractor, the center of it, on the vertex. And we're going to rotate our protractor till the line is on the zero. Perfect. And starting at the zero, we're going to read up. As we can see moving up, we are going to stop on that other line and it's exactly at 90. When an angle measures exactly 90, we call it a right angle. Another type of angle besides the acute, obtuse, and right angles are reflex angles. Reflex angles are signified by a half circle around the outside of the angle, thus telling us to measure the outside of the angle. So to use the full circle protractor, same thing, we're going to line up the center of that protractor on the vertex of the angle. So there we have it lined up. Now we're going to want to rotate that full circle protractor until a zero is on the correct line. 
So going this way, that works perfectly. I want to show you what would happen if we put the zero on the other line. So let's rotate further and let's say that we wanted to put the zero on this line. The reason why this wouldn't work is because as you can see, if you started from that zero and went to the outside of your angle, you're counting down instead of up. Now if we rotate that zero to the other line, and we start to count towards the outside of the angle, now you can see as we line up here that we are counting upwards. So following that zero up around the outside of the angle till we reach the other line, we can see that our other line falls somewhere between 300 and 310, but a little bit more than 305. So I would estimate that the angle the reflex angle degree would be about 307 degrees. Let's try one more with the full circle protractor. Again, we know that we need to measure the reflex angle or the outside measure of the angle. It's signified by that half circle. So we're lining up the center of our protractor with the vertex and we are rotating our protractor until the zero is on one of the lines. We know that we're on the right line because as we start at zero and go towards the outside of the angle, we're counting up in the correct direction. So counting up, going around that outside of the angle to the other ray of our angle, we see that our other line is somewhere between 200 and 210 right after about the 205, so I would estimate that this angle measures about 206, 206 degrees.